Hi, I'm Carrie White with ITSEC TV, and I'm here today with Doug Hubbard. Doug is going to be on a panel called Quantified Warrior. Basically, they're discussing data-driven training. Um, I like what he said. Basically, you are not able to manage what you can't measure. So, Doug, tell me a little bit about what your role will be on this panel today. Well, I think I, I, I'm the outside uh, expert in business in regards to just making better decisions. And it, it occurs to me that this is what the entire conference is about. It's about better decision making through a number of tools, simulations, quantitative methods, decision analysis, analytics, but it's all about better decision making. And that's what I've been doing on the business side for 20 years. Great, now you have a few books that you've written as well, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, my first one, which is now in its third edition, is How to Measure Anything, Finding the Value of Intangibles in Business. And really that addresses the issue of uh, so many things seem to be immeasurable or intangible, not just in business, but in government. And I've got several government and military examples in here as well. But things like uh, situational awareness or employee empowerment or strategic alignment or customer satisfaction, all those things seem at first like they're intangible and difficult to quantify, but you can actually measure them in a way that makes better decisions for you. So when I talk about the word measurement, what I mean is uncertainty reduction through observation. I don't mean an exact point or an exact number. I mean you have more information than you did before. And that's what we call a measurement. And when we plug that into a decision model, we should be making better decisions over time and you can even measure that. Now tell me some of the things you've measured. I know you mentioned earlier when we were talking there's been a, a plethora of them. So give me some of your top favorites. Okay. Um, well, we measured the amount of uh, fuel the Marine Corps is going to use in 60 days on the battlefield. Uh, we measured the risk of a mine flooding in Canada. We measured the value of drought resilience in the Horn of Africa and how to prioritize grants for agricultural inter interventions in the developing world. Um, lots of pharma products, uh, uh, oil and gas, cybersecurity. So anything that seems like a really difficult new measurement, a new technology, a, a special kind of risk that seems difficult to quantify, uh, we've been there, we've done that. So what's the benefit of being able to measure a lot of these things? Well, I always tell people the best way to spend 1% of a portfolio is to figure out how to optimize the other 99%. And so if that 1% or even honestly a fraction of that 1% was spent on better analytics, if you're just improving the rest of the portfolio by a few percentage points, that's many orders of magnitude better than the cost of the analytics. So you want to measure things because you make decisions under uncertainty. And when you're making decisions under uncertainty, there's a cost of being wrong and there's a chance of being wrong. And what we want to do is reduce the chance of being wrong. And we can do that if we reduce our uncertainty about key variables in our decisions. Doug, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Now, you are going to be on the panel Quantified Warrior Thursday at 8.30 a.m., correct? That's correct. Wonderful. For more coverage, stay tuned. It's SEC TV 2014.